Welcome back to Good Day. Well, we recently had a more than $1 billion lottery jackpot that obviously I didn't win, but you can be a big winner along with lots of furry friends when you get into this jackpot. Steve Kiesling joins us with a friend from Toledo Animal Rescue to explain this is Bush's baked beans. It is, and we named him that because when he came in, he was he was so cold uh, oh. that his, his temperature didn't even register. So we have incubators, mm -hmm. so we just we put him in the oven and had to bake him um, <laughs> to get his temperature up. And he's doing really well. He does have a little eye ulcer, but that's mm -hmm. just hopefully something that will clear up and clear with, some, up. with some assistance. Oh my goodness! So how how did it get so cold? Because he's he's little. It's summertime. You know, it's when they're itty bitty, and he was probably a week and a half old. Wow. Um, if they're not with mom and they don't have the 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 warmth and the temperature, mm -hmm. um, it's very easy for them to get too cold. Cats and dogs have a higher. Uh, healthy temperature sure. than we do um, and so healthy temperature could be up to 101 oh, okay. or, or 102. Had no idea. Well, there we go. So um, this little guy is only, what, a handful of weeks then? How He's five weeks old, um, and I just thought his story was really cool because he was he was close to uh, not making it, wow. and um, thank, thankfully we have some really good staff and fosters and the equipment to take care of him. He is so sweet. Very, very cute. I, is how, When is he going to be ready to go home with somebody? So the first thing we have to do is wait for him to get to, to be a pound and a half and six weeks before he can be vaccinated. Okay. Um, and then he'll be, after he's vaccinated, he'll be ready for visits. And then at a minimum of eight weeks and two pounds, he will uh, go get neutered and then he'll be ready to go home after okay, that. Okay, so he's got a few weeks uh, still to go, but people are already got their eyes on him saying he's, oh, he's so cute. He is, he's adorable, so for sure. So they'll have to, uh, you know, pay attention to the website or, you know, just get in touch with Yeah, them. both. Okay. Um, it's, it seems that... We don't always put all of our kittens online. <laughs> you probably uh, we, have a lot. We do. We do. <laughs> we probably have, I don't know, 30-ish right now. Yeah. Uh, but we don't usually put all of them online. Someone will come in uh, and spend some time with the kitten that they may have identified mm -hmm. on the website, but then they may fall in love with another sure. one. So we give folks who want to adopt as much time as they need mm -hmm. to find the perfect match for them. Yes, and fall in love and then go home and be happily ever after. So um, you have this cool raffle going on right we now are. in the meantime. Maybe you don't want to take a pet home or you can't, but you still want to help out. Uh, this is a great way to do that. Yeah, we we do this a few times a year. Mm -hmm. It's an online 50-50 raffle. And so just like any other 50-50, uh, mm -hmm. we get half the proceeds and the winner gets the other half. Mm -hmm. And this time the proceeds are going to this our spay and neutering of all the animals that come through our building. So it'll help uh, a little bean here. <laughs> About how many animals do you, I mean, do you see, you know, I don't know, in a year or I don't know. So we, we have We've done um, about 215 to 220 adoptions so far this year, mm -hmm. and unfortunately we've taken in 260 some odd animals. Mm -hmm. So we definitely get more animals in than we have going out, and that's mm -hmm. typical uh, not just for us, but for every organization in the area, mm -hmm. and frankly across the country, sure. statistics show that the, there's uh, far more animals coming into shelters and rescues than mm. are leaving. Mm. So, But that's still a lot of spay and neuter. Uh, uh, procedures that need to happen in the cost for that you yeah, know it's, uh, it, it, it adds up over the course of the year for sure because we we do not adopt any animal out until they are till right. they are spayed or neutered and if we have somebody who wants to adopt that has an animal that is not, um, we, we provide them some education mm -hmm. and encouragement, and until their animal is fixed, uh, we won't adopt to them. Got you. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But, you know, it's important, obviously, because you're seeing these numbers of more animals coming into the shelter. Especially than... cats. Mm -hmm. um, Toledo mm -hmm. does have a, a pretty large community cat. Yeah. Um, some say problem, mm -hmm. um, but population. But so cute. <laughs> and so the more... Uh, animals can get fixed, mm -hmm. um, the, the less of a population over, overload there is. Yeah, the better for everybody. So people want to get in on this raffle, how do they do that? Go on to Toledo, or I'm sorry, TAR5050.com, mm -hmm. uh, and it's as easy as that. Get your ticket, and uh, hopefully you'll be a big winner. Let's hope. Yes, very good. Well, Bush's Baked Beans, you are simply adorable, and um, hopefully you get up to, to wait here very soon. <laughs> Thanks for bringing them in today, Steve. Appreciate it. My pleasure it. as always.